Hi, I am Sujoy and today I will show you how to do average interpolation easily. This is our question. Find f of x at x equal to 7 from the following data. Here some x values are given. Corresponding f of x or function of x values are given. So when x equal to 2, f of x is 5. We have to find f of x at x equal to 7 and 7 is not in the table. Solution. Let's construct the average interpolation table. It's very easy. In the first column, write down all x values from 2 to 10. The middle value of x will be x0 and values above x0 will be x minus 1, x minus 2 and so on. Values below x0 will be x1, x2 and so on. In f of x column, write down all f of x values starting from 5 to 901. The value corresponds to x0 will be y0 and values above y0 will be y minus 1, y minus 2 and so on. Values below y0 will be y1, y2 and so on. To find del y, starting from bottom, this value minus this value is this value, this value minus this value is this value, this value minus this value is this value and this value minus this value is this value. Next to find del square y, Starting from bottom, this value minus this value is this value, this value minus this value is this value, and this value minus this value is this value. Next to find del cube y, starting from bottom, this value minus this value is this value, and this value minus this value is this value. Next to find del super 4 y, starting from bottom, this value minus this value is this value. Everett's formula, e of x is given by y0 plus u into y1 minus y0 plus u into u minus 1 divided by factorial 2 into del square y minus 1 plus u plus 1 into u into u minus 1 divided by factorial 3 into del square y0 minus del square y minus 1 plus u plus 1 into u into u minus 1 into u minus 2 divided by factorial 4 into delta to the power 4 y minus 2 and so on. Where u is given by x minus x0 by h where x is the value of x for which f of x need to be found. We need to find the f of x for x equal to 7. So our x is 7. x0 is the value above or below x in the x column. So x is 7 and the value above 7 in the table is 6. So x0 is 6. And h is the difference between each value of x, also called interval gap. So difference between each value of x is 2. So h is 2. So that gives u equals to x minus x0 by h, 7 minus 6 by 2 equals to 0.5. Now let's put the values. e of x is given by y0 is 181 plus u is 0 0.5 into y1 is 449 minus y0 181 plus u into u minus 1 by factorial 2 into del square y minus 1 is 136 plus u plus 1 into u into u minus 1 divided by factorial 3 into del square y0 is 184 minus del square y minus 1 is 136. We are not taking the fourth term since our del to the power 4y is 0. So by calculating 21 plus this is 134 plus calculating this you will get minus 17 plus calculating this you will get minus 3. If you add them up you will get 295. So f of 7 equals to 295. That means the function of x value is 295 when x equals to 7. You can do this calculation directly on this calculator. For that press fraction 0 0.5 bracket 0 0.5 minus 1 bracket close divided by 2 and shift and this button for factorial into 136 and press equals to button you will get minus 17 
Now for doing this calculation, scroll right, bracket open, 0.5 plus 1, bracket close, into 0.5, into 0.5 minus 1 is there, scroll down, delete, 3. Bracket 184 minus 136 is there. Bracket press equals to. You will get minus 3. You can do the whole calculation directly on this calculator if you want. Now some notes for you. Everett's interpolation formula is similar to Newton forward and backward interpolation formulas where the difference between each value of x is same. That is the interval gap or h is same. When the interval gap is not same, we use the Newton's divided difference or the Lagrange interpolation formula. All the previous formulas are used to find f of x or y of x that is the value of y for given x value. But to find x of y that is the value of x for given value of y, we use inverse interpolation formula. I have videos on all the methods I discussed. Link to all of them is in the video description below. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.